Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy Games. We're back in Genshin Impact, and today we are continuing... Uh, I guess it's not going to be Dream Nursery. From what I understand, even though I've unlocked this already, uh, which in the previous video, I don't know which one. Uh, I don't really know what my release... <laughs> how I'm releasing all the, the videos I'm editing. <laughs> I pretty much recorded a bunch of uh, different parts of this game. Uh, since this is like 3.0 stuff, which I am currently playing, even though 3.1 is out, I'm recording this at the same time as me playing through and recording like the um, current event and like the Archon quest and stuff. So I don't really know how I'm going to schedule it out. But by the time this comes out, those will probably, some of that will probably be out on my channel. So yeah, <laughs> take uh, check those out if you're interested. But anyway... Um, there's actually, if I go to the item menu, from what I understand, if I go to part two here, it tells me in, uh, this section here, there are some things I must do first to obtain the Bija. One, organize the Ufeso Utsava, which is predicated on the rest of the list, which I've completed three and four, but not two. And that is because I've completed a quest chain in... A palm woods. This is all in the the second like bullet point, and I've also completed the Gonda Hill thing, but I have not completed uh, Devon. Like I have not found the Aranara in Devon Taka Mountain, and I think it's like somewhere here. So I would be able to trigger that quest if I. I think I just walk north here. <laughs> I actually looked it up just in case. Is it that one down there? I actually don't think it's that one down there. From what I understand, it was supposed to be somewhere here. Actually, let's just go to that. Maybe that is the one. <laughs> it kind of looks like it might be, actually. There's like some hilly churls there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one, isn't it? Hey, that must be Eric. He can. Something mentioned. Something, something, something. So yeah, this is like the next part, I guess. And this person is a really unique color from well, all the other Ara Naras that I've seen so far. But anyways, Ara Risan, Riken, Ara Riken. Ah, Nara! Don't be afraid. We're not bad, Nara. Paimon's Paimon and she's Nermeen. You're Ara Riken, right? We are friends of Ara Nara. Araja sent us. I don't even remember who Araja is at this point. <laughs> that That's right! We've got some questions! Wow, there's, there's been strange Nara around. That, that's why I've been a bit... That, that's why I was a bit scared. He's got a sword by his uh, side. Or some sort of weapon, it looks like. <laughs> we didn't mean to scare you. It's just that we didn't know you were so absorbed in... Hmm, since you can see our... Uh, our uh, Raiken and our friends with Arara Araja, the forest must recognize you. You can't be bad, Nara. Mm hmm. You are good, Nara. Ara Raiken is not afraid. Did you say that you have questions for Ara Raiken? Yeah, that's right. We would like to know how. We would like to know more about the delicious fungus. We would like to know. About the suspicious Nara around Vimara village? What? I don't remember either of these things. Uh, suspicious Nara. <laughs> you tell Araraiken what happened in brief, though how much Araraiken understood is a different story. Arara. Arana is good Aranara, protecting Vana often and helping little Nara always. Are the Aran, uh, are what Arana does. Arana is the person who's protecting Kana right now, right? Kana? Rana. Rana. <laughs> That's weird that Rana is a human and she kind of sort of has like an Aranara, right? Name. <laughs> I guess Arataki Ito kind of sort of has like an Aranara name too, but that's just coincidence. <laughs> Araraikin once helped little Nara. Arara said that Marana's avatar is taking little Nara away, so Araraikin helped. Oh, so this actually goes into 
the original story where uh, in Rana's village, Vimara village, the kids there uh, often disappear for a few days. That worries everyone in the village, but like comes back safely with their memories like fuzzy. And I guess maybe this quest goes into that more. <laughs> Recently, the local Vana, uh, I meant the forest. The forest and streams are always crying. Maybe it's because of Marana. Marana, bad. Marana refers to the withering and Vana. That's gotta mean forest. Well, that's some new Aranara words learned. Wait, does the forest cry too? Maybe it's a figure of speech. Maybe it was something only Aranara could hear. It cries very loudly. <laughs> Can Nara Lumine hear it, too? Lara Lumine, friend of forest? Sunshine brights happiness, but too much sunshine means less water. Water makes us grow, and no water means withering. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, uh, Sayu's voice line when it rains. She's like, ah, we gotta find shelter quick. Water may only works on plants, but not people. <laughs> or waters make plants grow, but not people or something like that, because like one of the... I guess more typical character trait of Sanyu is that he, she wants to like grow bigger since so she's smaller than everyone her age or something like that. <laughs> Songs bring happiness and power. Getting sick makes us upset. And being sick for too long means withering. It's the same for Vana and Aranara. But, ah, uh, but Mint is different. Mint's so strong. The forest can be, the forest has been crying harder lately. Araraikin is worried. It's... is it because Marana is harming the forest? Araraikin is not sure. It smells like Marana, but not really the same. But Araraikin knows that. Some bad, dirty stuff are making the forest sick in places Araraikin can't see. If the forest keeps being sick like this, a super giant Marana will come and suck all living things away. All the flowers will wither and leaves will fall. The fruits will go bad. The... And the mushrooms will stop growing. I thought we don't like the mushrooms. Or do we just not like the fun guy <laughs> and the spores? <laughs> eh? No more mushrooms? That means no more chicken mushroom skewers. Uh, we'll help. We're here to look into the suspicious Nara. We already had a quest line with like suspicious people. Is this like a different set of suspicious people? Or is it the same set of suspicious people? There was like that lady who was really nice to us. But she just wanted to steal like that fruit or was it a plant or was it was it a fruit or a plant or maybe it was a mushroom <laughs> but yeah anyways uh we'll help that's right we're here to help ah around the area of sickness there is a weird nara that might be the bad nara you want good nara help our Ar ararakin and our raikin take you to him Looks like we can help each other. What do you think, Mumi? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Thank you. Or thank you. But Marana is scary. Nara will die. We've dealt with that before. It'll be all right. Oh, I don't want to die. Oh, I don't want to die. Come on. We've dealt with that thing before, haven't we? With Rana and... Nara Lumin defeated Marana before? You're very strong. And you're a golden Nara, just like the legendary Nara Varuna. You look reliable. I believe in you. Mm-hmm. Just leave it to us. Now we've got another question. How about our reward? Tell me about the super bad, super dirty stuff. Uh, I... I have seen many weird... Healy... Nara... <laughs> the Healy trails are called Healy Nara. <laughs> With filthy stains on them. They've been acting suspiciously around the giant Iron Mountain. Healy Nara? Giant Iron Mountain? You mean that super big rune guard over there? Speaking of which, something seems off with that rune machine. It has no eye. It has no core. Hey, that's true! Other rune machines all have the core that looks like an eye. Araraiken knows nothing about rune machines. As for the Giant Iron Mountain, it has been here since a long, long time ago. A long, long time? How long is that exactly? The time it takes for a tiny little seed to grow into a giant tree that can touch the sky. Ha! Huh? 
that share is a long time, long time. Well, it shouldn't be hurting the forest if it has been there for so, for that long. That people might come here because of it, though. Who knows? It might revive itself at some point. Ooh, that'll be scary. That thing is huge. Hmm, <laughs> you have a point. Bad guy like the Fatui, Treasure Hoarder, and the Abyss Order. Super bad guys. Bad, Nora, bad. Either way, let's investigate it, shall we? Who knows? We might even find some treasure. Thank you, Araraikin. Also saw that there are other strange things beside the suspicious Nara. Alright then, let's go! Don't fall behind now, Araraikin! Alright, the Healy Naras are different Paimon- Paimon is the same thing, aren't all Healy trails the same? No, just like Nara, although Lara looks pretty much the same- What? Uh, I can't read, I don't know, I gotta stop doing that. Uh, I complain every single time that happens. All right, let's see what, what we unlocked. Vimana Agama. Vimana Agama. Half of my heart is in Vimana Agama. Uh, first chapter. Investigate the strange spot. Oh man, this has multiple chapters as well. Oh my goodness. You heard that Araja and the Aranara were investigating a suspicious Nara near Devantaka Mountain. You wonder if it has anything to do with the missing kids at Vimara Village. Okay, interesting. So there's still missing kids in Vimara Village. Was uh, Eothim or E O uh, Eo Fat Eo Fat Eothim? I don't remember who, which, what, what the kids name. What was there some point where some kids were kidnapped? For all, what we know, or for what I know, there's nothing here. Just a bunch of beat up machine bits. They, but the scraps they got bad smell to them. Oh, in that case, let's check the humongous rune guard over there. Okay. Was there a kid that got kidnapped during this story? I don't remember. All I remember is that we went out doing something with Rana and she got like cursed or something by the withering and now like she's in stasis. She's put into stasis by one of the Aranaras and uh, that Aranara asked us to create a Biju or Buji? Baiju? Biju? This like thing to help cure her withering or something like that. And in order to do that, we have to like have a festival of Utsaba or something like that. Oz, reveal uh, thyself. Why do I even bother using Indomene's elemental skill on a incline like this? Ugh. Oh. Gang gang woohoo! Wings of darkness! Come! Spring forth! Gotta dash! Nice. Propagate. Yeah, that works. But yeah, my my skill would definitely not hit that Healy Trail. So I come into here now? Ooh. Yeah, our rat king can sense a connection between this place. Now that you say that, Pima can hear strange noise coming from below. They want me to go this way. I'm looking at the the crystal thing symbol. I'm like, oh, I want to go there for the crystal. But I think I remember trying to find it and it was it might have been locked behind something. Hopefully this quest opens up that area. <laughs> mm. I'll just climb. I think climbing is the worst like mode of transportation. <laughs> in the game. It's so slow and stressful. Like, oh, am I gonna run out of stamina before I hit the top? Am I gonna hit a random, like, area where I, it looks like I can climb? But once I climb up, I, like, slide off. <laughs> and then I lose a lot of height. Ah, they want me to enter through the, uh, hole that is available. Shoot. Uh, I don't want to go up, so we'll continue this way. Hello. I learned decree. that you can just hit these wings without a charge shot, and you can bring them down. I always thought you needed a charge up to you. destroy them. Scatter. But nope, As I was just being me. silly. Send them down. Uh -oh. 
Ooh, he died before he did his attack. Nice. Keep exploring. I only know about this place because I, I looked up how to get more uh, resources to ascend, like that whatever Rukadeva mushroom, to ascend. Uh, wow! What a huge cave! Careful, Nara. It might be dangerous inside. Uh, yeah, I was looking for the Rukadevada mush mushroom that you need to ascend Kale. <laughs> That's the only reason I, why I've been here before. <laughs> I never actually, I, I haven't actually tried to like explore this area too too much, but I have done some of the puzzles and, and stuff here. So, ah! uh, I keep sliding off of this route. Wait, do I go down or do I go up? Hmm. I hope that means I stay in this cave. Yeah, the, these are the Ruka, Ruka Devada mushrooms. Ruka Hashava. Ruka Hashava mushrooms. I don't know why I call them Ruka Devada mushrooms. That's the uh, greater lord's name. Uh, come on. There we go. Woo! Yes, please. I don't think I actually need more of them, but maybe a character in the future will use them. <laughs> They want me to go up, okay. That's good to know. Wait, what? This does not seem like an efficient way to go up. Michelle, we need you. No, the jumping in this game is so bad. Come on, come on. Is there anything I can lash on to? Ah, the perfect place to put one of those, like, zip line things would have been there. Uh, where was the jump pad? Eh? Eh? No! No! Ah, that's so annoying. I think climbing is one of the features I just... I'm so over now. The more I can avoid climbing, the happier I am. Which is why why I wish these things were. How come I couldn't see that point? Maybe I was too close to this cliffside. But it wants me to go higher. Okay. this be? The deeper we go, the lusher it is. Pyron doesn't think we'll see anything. Uh, our Araka thinks it's odd, but Araka can hear the Nara that help Ara with the sickness. So Ray's note. This seems to be a page torn from a research log, perhaps because it was irrelevant. The paper is covered in moss, and the contents have see long ceased to be whole. Explored the jungle with Zandik. Its local biodiversity is impressive. Although the growing effects of the withering in other areas have also affected this place, it has yet to pose a threat, great threat. We discovered a few new Scarab species. I suppose I could name them Nahidad Scarab, which means the Dendral Archon's boom. A good name, I'd say. Zandik was attracted by the ancient machine left behind by some civilization here. He's young, handsome too, but he's too rigid, and the research approach of his Darshan has nothing in common with Amirta. As a result, we have nothing to talk about even though we are exploring this place together. That's pretty annoying. Zandik and I discuss the traits of local plants and animals. We also exchange views on their evolution models. We had a great time and decided to go on a picnic tonight. Okay. Is that a budding romance between those two researchers? Ooh. Ooh. So 
technically we are inside the robot, or are we... Do we go through the robot? We must have went through the robot somehow. I ended up in this cavern. In this cave. Shoot. Oh, don't, don't slide off. Please don't slide off. Please don't... Ah! Uh, uh. I think I latched onto that side. Keep exploring. This place is huge. Oh. Is that part of the robot? Where am I right now? Am I looking at the robot's butt? Is that the robot's butt? That's a nice uh, caboose you got there. Oh, should I shoot that? Can I even hit it from here? If I shoot, if I shoot uh, frequent enough, I'll eventually hit it. Oh, that didn't do anything. There's a treasure chest here. Huh. Wait. Was this always here? This looks new. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gotten it. The only one that I remember not being able to get is this one because it's underwater. But is that new? Interesting. <laughs> oh. Oh, is that is it because I I shot that slime that uh, a Nemo slime that disappeared? A on the road. I would assume I'm gonna assume that's the case, just for my sanity. Fire it up, official. For those who don't know, I guess if you electro put electro onto um. Those jump pads, you jump higher. Ooh. I unlocked another waypoint. Keep exploring. Am I going into... Hey, is someone up there? Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's a suspicious Nara. Quick, you must... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Are we in the robot's butthole? Is this where it like has an exhaust for its like energy consumption? Whatever byproduct comes out of here? That like sphincter opens up and like a bunch of stuff comes up. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, how did you get up here? Nah, Nara Lumine, that's a suspicious Nara. He's been sneaking around here with that suspicious machine. Oh, you're right. Come to a place like this is coming to a place like this is pretty suspicious, alright. Well, uh, I'd say you're the suspicious ones here. After all, I'm a uh, certified researcher from the academia. And you're our outliners of unknown origins. I guess he can't see uh, Arin... Na... Araraiken? <laughs> I guess he, he can't see Araraiken, but we can. <laughs> We've been commissioned to investigate this area. I'm Lumi and I'm on the trail of a suspicious Nara. We've been commissioned to uh, investigate. Oh, a commission. So your adventures, or perhaps your eremites or something, Jazari. Well, it doesn't matter. My name is Jazari. Uh, Kishar, Kisharewar, Kisharewa, Kisharewa researcher. As you can see, I don't care what you came here for, but I don't get, but don't get in the way of my research. What's there to be research in this deep cave? Come on, Paimon, there's a, we're in the giant robot's butthole. What else can be researched? <laughs> there are always things to be researched everywhere. As the saying goes, ignorance is a researcher's disgrace. You must have noticed this huge rune machine out there, right? No, not out there, out here. We're actually in its butthole. <laughs> That is actually a rune golem made in the ancient realms of Conrea. In the local lexicon of Conrea, the name might possibly have been something like Mechanical Warden. See? We're right behind the rune golem, this the machine's operator. Should there have been should there have been one? Would the ha would have entered from here? What? Let me read that again. See? We're right behind the rune golem, the machine's operator. Should there have been one, would have entered from here. Oh, so this is more of a, like a mobile suit than a, like an autonomous robot. Mm, but a machine of this size would have required more than one operator, right? 
Aha, uh -huh, that's among my research topics. Unfortunately, I haven't made much progress so far. Exploring the rune golem from the inside seems to be the only solutions, and I am presently looking for a way in. Oh man, reading this guy's lines is like so, such a breath of fresh air. All the Aronaras and everything, I, I like purposely try to do like a, like a silly voice. <laughs> and on top of that, their sentence structures and everything is really, really weird. So it's like really hard to read like cohesively. But this guy talks normal, and I'm, I feel like I'm able to read his lines like a bit more smooth. <laughs> than uh, usual. <laughs> you sound more suspicious by the minute. That's right. We did meet an Abyss Order member disguised as a researcher that one time. Paimon reckons he was called Enchu. Lumi, do you remember what happened to him again? We beat the snot out of him. T hey, hey, please don't. I'm a legitimate researcher. Uh, you don't believe me, do you? Uh, you don't believe me, do you? See this? This is an investigation charter from the Academia with the highest possible level of clearance. That's not something to be given away on the streets. Certainly not one concerning investigations into ancient ruins as important as this. The Academia would never issue something like this casually. This is just a random slip of paper. It could be someone's toilet paper for all I know. <laughs> like, we're outsiders, so how would we know what's legit or not, right? We're not familiar with what's... It's like if you present, like, a fake ID. <laughs> like... If the person isn't familiar with how IDs look like, how would they know? Or if you have like a fake passport or something, or like an illegitimate passport. <laughs> I can't give you the original copy, but wait a second. Where did I put my camera? I remember placing it inside my bag. Be careful. He's taking that suspicion machine out again. Jazari set the device up carefully. It is indeed a camera. Eh? Is this the suspicious, suspicious machine you mentioned? It's just a camera. A uh, a camera? That's right. It's a machine that takes pictures. It's pretty convenient. Yes, this is a priceless item as far as the academia is concerned. I can't just let you touch it. Wait, who were you talking to just now? Um, about that. Uh, it's an imaginary friend. She's been alone since she was little. <laughs> Oh, so you often talk to yourself? Ugh. Well, I've heard of similar cases before, I guess. Don't worry, I understand your condition. It's okay. We're friendly people from... Uh, we're, we're friendly people here in Sumeru. You'll have no trouble making real friends. I guarantee it. Still, do not get in the way of my research. After all, nothing under the sun is truly new. And it is our duty as researchers to collect information and investigate it. All the characters are recorded in the Academia. If you are still skeptical, just keep an image of this for validation in the House of Diana. <laughs> anyway, we've got something to discuss. Let me, let's talk over there. Well, as you wish. Uh, who knew uh, we would be putting a camera inside a giant robot's butthole? What a, what a development of the story. Some fate must have dictated that we would meet, meet here, but that friend of yours, uh, he's weird, she's weird. She must have led a lonely life. Be nicer, to, be nice to her. Anyway, I have to organize my findings, so if you don't, or if you would excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. Acha! Raiken. Paimon needs friends? I reckon can be your friend. Me too. Ah, uh, thanks you two. But that's not the problem. The issue is that he can't see you, Araraiken. Mm-hmm. When Nara grow up, they can't see Aranara anymore. Young Nara see us because they are innocent, but grown Nara can't. Nara Lumine is a dreamer, favored by the tree and flower, so you can still see us even as a grown-up. We're technically not grown up, right? We're like supposed to be like 16 or something. Maybe we are 18 ish, and uh, but then whatever the legal drinking age in this world is, is like maybe like 20 or 21, maybe. <laughs> so technically, we're an adult, but just not of legal drinking age of this area. In it, where I live in Canada, legal drinking age is 18. So <laughs> if you're an adult, you can drink. But then in this game, frequently. It gets pointed out to us that we're not allowed to drink any alcoholic beverages. 
Anyway, we should be more careful when talking to R&R in front of others. Well, Paimon doesn't think Jazir and Sari was lying anyway. You might have misunderstood him, Araraikin. Araraikin saw that Nara taking out his camera and doing kachik to Healy Nara. Very suspicious. If that Nara isn't bad, uh, he runs away every time that Healy Nara come, so he can't really be friends with the Healy Nara. That sounds kind of sad. He must be quite the runner then. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Nara holds his machine and runs so fast. So he shouldn't be a bad person? Nor should he be related to the children at Vimara village. I'm not particularly interested in all this, but we'll finish what we started. I'm curious about the giant machine, actually. Yep, Paimon totally agrees. Anyway, since he's doing research around here, he should be pretty familiar with the situation. Maybe he can help you, Araraiken. Talk to Jazari. So we gotta zoom back. Zoom back. Oh yeah. Watch out! Oops, did I uh, wreck your camera? That's my bad. Jazari. Hey, finally believe me, don't you? Yep, guess you're not suspicious after all, Jazari. We have some questions about the situation, though. Hey, <laughs> ask away. As a uh, Kasharivar, Sharivar, Kasharivar. Researcher who specializes in studying rune machines, I've been investigating this big guy over here for years. No one on this earth knows more about this rune golem than I do. What about beneath the earth, then? Well, legend holds that the ancient realm of Conrea lies beneath the earth. Since they built all the rune machines, it would be arrogant of me to say that I understand these devices better than they do. Tell me about the bad, dirty stuff. Ha 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 You're looking for bad and dirty things, aren't you? Then you should visit the city. <laughs> There's lots of bad, dirty things in the city. <laughs> the city? The bad things are, are in the city? Are bad things in the city? Uh... This is just something adults say. Don't think too much about it. Anyway, the locale, locale is somewhat polluted, which might be related to the bad and dirty stuff you mentioned. Well, there's... Here's the situation. We've heard that the forest here has... Dot dot dot. The paraphrasing arrows Raikin's words that Jazuri can understand them. Is that so? Let me think about this. I might indeed have some clues. According to my research, all rune mechanisms work on the same principle no matter what they do, whether it is flying or launching missiles. And well, a rune golem is theoretically the same as a rune guard, except that it has... Or it was to be operated by people. Have you noticed anything abnormal about this rune golem? It looked incredibly big. Its eye seems to be missing. Yeah, this big guy here's got no peeper. But he sure has a pooper, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> We're standing in front of it right now. <laughs> exactly. According to the documents, ruined machines are powered by their core. To be precise, by the dark power inside what you call an eye. When Conraya was destroyed, many ruined machines like this one burst out from the desert. Although things are different now, even the Academia was unable to handle the cores back then. A single mistake could have caused a core meltdown, leading to serious accidents. As a result, the Academia has no choice but to temporarily seal the core and deal with them later. If the documents have it right, the core of the, this rune guard should be sealed inside the ancient runes known as Dev's Cavern, like Developer's Cavern, <laughs> which is right beneath our feet. Is there anything wrong with the core? Uh, there shouldn't be, but we have detected some energy leakage. The seal seems to have been damaged at some point, though we have no idea when. Heh, <laughs> the last time someone published a research report regarding such matters was more than 10 years ago. Any progress on this matter should have, should warrant a large amount of funding from the academia. Funding? Are you saying that you get more from doing research? That's right. Speaking of which, we did talk about pollution a moment ago. For ecological topics, we might be able to file a subject application with biology, Amerta. That would really be an archon send for those who study fringe subjects like us. At first, I had planned on taking the route recorded in previous reports to look inside. Unexpectedly, all the entrances were blocked. Araraiken knows it's the place outside where Araraiken sends bad things. 
I thought it might have been the Forest Watchers or the Vimara villagers who did it, but given what you described, someone must have sneaked inside and blocked the entrances. Maybe it was the Marana's avatar that you mentioned? Well, I wouldn't dare mess with something like that. Healy trails are more than enough to trouble for more than enough trouble for me, as you can see, or I wouldn't be stuck here right now. First things first though, if you want to travel underground, I do have an idea as to how. Interested? This Nara, awesome! How do we travel beneath? Yes, you're pretty good after all, so <laughs> how do- I'm like reading him and the, and Lumine's like lines the same, so it might be a little confusing to people who might not be- might be all tabbed. <laughs> and maybe just listening to me ramble. <laughs> Guess you're pretty good after all, so how do we get down there? Well, we need to- we just need to find a way to enter this rune golem and smash the blocked entrance open with it. Is- is that even possible? That's my kind of plan. Are you serious? Uh, that's my kind of plan. The data acquired from such an action would be priceless. Even if something goes wrong, the benefits still outweigh the risks. Also, if we can investigate the core buried underground, I could submit a funding application on your behalf. What do you think? That's killing two birds with one stone. Well, three birds, actually. If we can't get some funding, let's help Jazari out. I mean, academic research is important too, after all. Of course, but you'd best report to the academia when you have the time, or this might be classified as malign research. Anyways, let's try to get inside first. The operator might still be there. That would make for some great data. I mean, a good research subject. It has been hundreds of years, you know. <laughs> Never mind that. There might be treasure inside, right? I'm quite sure that some antiques are stored within. Research on those would... What do you think, Lumi? Since Mr... Jazari has put it like that. Paimon reckons we should do some academic research, hehe. <laughs> Great. So how do we get in? Aha! Uh -huh. I almost forgot the most important thing. Opening the door to the rune golem's cockpit requires an amiti device. To put it simply, a key. Are you sure that's a cockpit and not an, uh... I was gonna say armpit, but that doesn't really make sense. I wanna... Well, what word, like, ends with pit? And, or sounds like pit, but it actually refers to like butthole. <laughs> the bad news is that I don't have this key, but the good news is that I have discovered its whereabouts from studying the documents on hand. If you must know, I have scoured half the house of Diana for the few records available. The last report on the Amidi device was published decades ago, and though I have now figured it all out, my findings cannot be published as things stand. Most irritating indeed. So where exactly is this key? Why can't you publish your results? Uh, why can't you publish your results? It's because those big shots don't see the academic value in this. But isn't academic value just pompous human evaluation where they pr reduce knowledge down to mere practical tools? Knowledge itself cannot be determined to be more or less valuable. Uh, so where exactly is this key? You haven't mentioned it yet. Ah, to put it simply, the key may be found in Port Ormos to the south, in the hands of an antique dealer named Royinjan. Could you please accompany me there? You've been staying here doing research for so long, and you've never thought about visiting him? Uh, the thing is, I'm not good at dealing with merchants. They just don't understand me, which makes communication almost impossible. I've been cheated out of a lot of Mora before on this, on account of this. That's true, I do find it hard to follow your thoughts at times, too. Wait, so this is actually all my fault? Ugh. Well, whatever the case, we're going to Port Hormos, right? Let's go check it out, then. Are we just gonna teleport there? Ooh. Talk to Roy Yin Jan. Um, whoa. Uh, Jazari has gone. But yeah, I think we're gonna end things here. Get it? End. Because we're in the, in the butthole of the robot. <laughs> Actually, maybe this is just the back of the robot. <laughs> and uh, the a dude... Oh, the... If this is like the cockpit like entrance, the dudes that go in must be like huge. Unless like a uh, rune guard or a rune grader is like the pilot of this giant thing. So it's like Tengen, Tapa, Gurren, Ligon where they just keep putting like mechas into bigger mechas until it's like the size of like a, a galaxy. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think we'll end things here and I'll continue to the next one. This seems like a good length for one of these videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see in the next one where I'll continue this uh, giant robot story. And uh, subscribe for more. 
random crazy stuff, and goodbye. Perfect.